We first met Jackie Velasquez when she was just 16. Her voice stunned listeners. Her first album, Heavenly Place, went platinum. Since then, Jackie Velasquez has sold over 5 million albums and graced more than 50 magazine covers. Although she disappeared from the music scene, Jackie's back, stronger than ever, with a brand new album and a fresh outlook on life. Jackie is back, and she's joining me now live here on 700 Club Interactive. How great to have you here. It is great to be here. It's great to see your face um, again, and I was telling you, I told you before, you, you just don't change. Oh, you're, you're very sweet. Beautiful and always so kind. You know, you came on the club when you were really just getting going and just... I was 16, I think, yes, the first time? Yes, yes. Wow. And, and your voice just knocked everybody out. Oh. But your family sort of had a preview that something was, was coming from the time you were young. I mean, you didn't just hum. I mean, you, <laughs> you were a singer. Well, I could sing before I could talk. And my parents were pastors at the time. Yes. And um, they were in a very small building at the time. And I was in the nursery. And my mom said that they were worshiping and, you know, everybody mm -hmm. was singing. And that somebody said, Shh, be quiet. And everybody stopped singing. And they continued listening to me <laughs> in the nursery in singing. the nursery singing, oh god rains oh god rains yeah, isn't that crazy yeah but you know i mean yeah. i don't remember the story but you know your sure, parents remember right. the story yes i do <laughs> i was too little to remember but that's what happened yeah. so by 16 i mean it's it's one thing for someone else to say well isn't that great she's got a voice but by 16 i mean that's very young you had a platinum album i mean how did your family help you balance the swift rise to that point. Oh, wow. Um, well, you know, thankfully, my mom is awesome. And she is just, she was always traveling with me and taking care of me. And she just, she wasn't going to allow anything mm -hmm. to get too much to my head. And But you have to remember, I had been traveling since I was nine. So I was homeschooled. Yeah. So I wasn't even around my peers to know that I was That was actually a different. very good thing. I mean, I'm I a fan so. of homeschooling. Yes. But in your instance in particular, it yes. kind of protected you from some of the junk that could have been... Yes. A very negative influence. Sure. You have an amazing resume. I mean, I mentioned the number of of hit CDs that you've had. You've been in movies. You've written. Do you have a preference in all of that? I know singing is where you started, but sometimes that's not always your first love of someone who does as many things as you do. Okay, well, my, if you want to know my first love, it would be... Um Friday nights at my house with my boys and my, yes. my husband and my oh, kids. Oh, I like that. And that's my favorite. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's because we get to watch a, a certain cartoon, anything. Like We're like, okay, we're watching Despicable Me or what are we going to watch? <laughs> and we just uh, we'll sit there and we just... It's pizza night, and the kids can stay up as late yeah. as they want, even though they can't. They stay up to ten, right. and they go, "Oh my goodness, this is so late!" <laughs> and it's just the cutest thing because they feel like we're all yeah. together. They're on the floor in their bean bags, and Nick and I are sitting. And you get to be yeah. part of. I know sometimes when you're isolated in in a in a good sense and recognize that sometimes you just want to be part of. Absolutely. And that's so wonderful. Tell that's me about your family. Oh, my family. Well, I'm married. Uh, my husband is Nick. Uh, he's the lead singer for the band South. And awesome. Yes, yeah, super talented, super awesome, super handsome, so of course. So he understands what you do. Exactly. Yeah. And we support each other um, back and forth. I, I try to always be there when he needs me, like, you know, stay home with the kids mm -hmm. or go with him if he needs me um, and vice versa. And then we have our boys, uh, Zeeland, who is nine, and Soren, who is eight. And Zeeland was born easy, super easy baby. Soren was born and... <laughs> There's a reason we stopped having kids. He was I not an say, easy baby. It's good when you didn't have number two first. Yes. <laughs> That's what I tell everybody. Yeah. I said, thank God Zealand was born first. Otherwise, Soren would have been an yeah. only child. But Zealand, you have found, yes. is, you say, on the spectrum. He's on the right? spectrum. Right. How old autistic. was he when you knew that? Uh, well, we, we started suspecting something at about... 19 months old really there were some milestones he wasn't hitting just like other mm -hmm. kids and we were we got we got we weren't going to bury our heads in the sand basically right so we got him tested and had somebody come to our house an early intervention and they said well it's developmental delay we'll get speech therapy occupational therapy um, he'll be right as rent well he he wasn't it wasn't happening as swiftly mm -hmm. as we would have hoped. And then the change started to happen where the younger brother, who's 14 and a half months was, younger, oh my. <clears throat> was mm -hmm. easier to understand and understood things that 
Big Brother couldn't. Yeah, developmentally, almost moving yes. past. Yes, yeah. exactly. And so now, Jackie, talk to me about that as a mom, though, because all parents, I think, you know, I mean, one of the things I think you say about a child is that they're they're their dreams unfulfilled, you know, and you're waiting to watch milestones met and markers in school and things. So what went on in your heart and how did God deal with you with regard to that? Well, I, I think that the day that we were sitting there, because they had to give the official diagnosis and he was in second grade. And I remember um, this room of just people, vice principal, principal, superintendent, all these mm -hmm. just people. And they put the word autism. Now that word had been thrown around before, mm -hmm. but it was not in black and white in front of us. Mm -hmm. This is what it is, bottom yes. line. The label, the label. And no parent wants their kid labeled, you not. know? Of course not. Uh, so that, that was difficult. I remember I cried and um, not because of what I felt. It was just more like, I don't want him to feel challenged in life. I don't want him to feel Or to different. be labeled and named by exactly. other people. Yes. Or, or even anybody to ever laugh at him because he doesn't understand what they mean. Yes. Because he is perfect. Yes. He's perfect. Yeah. And um, well, I, I went through some tough times. I, I, I had to go through a bit of a mourning period. I know mm -hmm. that sounds weird. Because no, it I, doesn't. Not at all. Yeah, I had to kind of mourn the, the dreams that I Changed. had formed. Yeah. But dream new dreams. Mm -hmm. It took some time. And there are some days where I, I still, I still kind of go, oh, man. Yeah. Like when he comes home from the first day of school just happened. And he came home and I said, I asked the little brother, I go, Soren, so did you make any friends today? And he goes, yes. And he t brrr, goes on. I asked him, I go, Z, so did you make new friends today? He goes, excuse me. I do not memory their name. Yeah. And I said, Oh, but well, that's okay. Tomorrow, just pay attention and yeah. and try to yeah. listen for their names. Okay, walk the journey with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, one of the things I think that happens when God puts a challenge in front of us—a wonderful challenge mm -hmm. like Zealand—is that it deepens what God's called us to yeah. and almost opens a new door of ministry and opportunity. I mean, I'm I'm looking at your newest release, and the title is Trust. I know. I mean, there had to be a lot of lessons in that for you. Yes. I mean, trusting is, uh, you have to do it in marriage. I mean, but it's something that is fragile. Yes. Trust is fragile. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, when it comes to, logically, we know that we trust God. He of has course. everything under control. We know that because we read his word and we but it's feel easy his presence. to say that when nothing's yes. challenging. Exactly. That. Yeah. Exactly. Or when something is challenging it, you're like, why am I being challenged? <laughs> why? That's not fair. Come because on, man. Because of this. <laughs> you know? Because you, know? you have a message that God's sending to others yeah. through you. And, yeah. and, and I guess, if nothing, um, when it comes to like the special needs part of things, and I believe that in life, all of us are, mm. will face, have faced, are facing Need to something. Face. Right, yeah. that we're going to have to trust and be on our face and feel like we're drowning mm -hmm. to truly push past and meet yeah. God and, and have Him meet us where we are and trust in Him. But, you know, for those that are parents that might have special needs kids, I remember when I found out officially, I, I kind of felt like totally alone. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, yes. And maybe this, all of this is to also help others feel like, hey, you're not alone and yes. we're going through this together. And I promise. Yeah. I'm scared sometimes. I don't have all the answers. Mm -hmm. I have to research and Google stuff and I don't know what it means. And there's all these big words and what are they talking about? He's just a little boy. Yes. And, and even though we're going to go through it together, we're not just going to survive. We're going to thrive gonna because thrive. of who our God is. Mm -hmm. I, I want people to have a chance to hear just a clip of the, one of the songs off of your new album. So let's take a look at that.
Wow, God who moves the mountains. There's a powerful message there yes. because of a life being powerfully and well lived, girl. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Really and truly. Jackie's CD is called Trust. As I mentioned earlier, it's available wherever CDs are sold. You want to get a hold of it. Every song has a message that will lift you and inspire you. We also have an exclusive interview with Jackie for our social media followers. She's going to be praying for viewers, so you want to check that out. You can watch by going to our Facebook page, which is Facebook dot com slash 700 club interactive thank you again thank Always you so much you're you. awesome thank you blessings